Shagawam, Shagawam. Giving all praises, glory, and honor to Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shai, Bahasham, Achka, Kadash. Double honors to the elders and apostles of Great Millstone for teaching this truth. And salutations to the Akiam and Akwat worldwide. So, in this video, I will be focusing on the names of the Heavenly Father and His only begotten Son, Yahweh Shai, whom the world ignorantly calls Jesus the Christ. But his re real name in the Hebrew tongue is Yahweh Shai. Because in the book of Hebrews, chapter 7, verse 14, it says that Yahweh Shai is a Judite. He sprang out from the tribe of Judah, from that lineage, meaning he's Hebrew. So it doesn't make sense that his name would be Jesus Christos, which is Jesus Christ in the Greek form. And for the people using the English language and saying J, Jesus J, it doesn't make sense because the letter J is only like 500 years old. So his real name is Yahweh Shai, meaning he saves, he is the deliverer. As it says in the, in the first chapter of, of, of Matthew, verse 21, let me go to that actually real quick. So okay, Matthew. Chapter 1, verse 21. And she shall bring forth a son, and thou shalt call his name Yahweh Shai, for he shall save his people from their sins. So this is something that the Apostle Gabar always brings out, Nomen Omen, which means name prediction. He shall save his people from their sins. Who are his people? The Israelites, so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native American Indians. Okay, but let me get on reading this. First, I, was, I, I want to say the name of his father, Yahweh, meaning he is. That's the name that he gave to Moses. So those are the true biblical names, biblical names of the Most High and his son, Yahweh and Yahweh Shai. And this is some of the most important things that one can learn when learning about this Israelite truth, the names. Again, this is also what Apostle Gabar always says, and you know, if you make a video in a, another tongue that you speak, for example, Spanish, German, or some African language, first is, is the most important thing to, to, to say, to tell the real names of the Most High and His Son. So here in the book of Acts, chapter 7, chapter 4, verse 7, Solakia, And when they had set them in the midst, they asked, By what power or by what name have you done this? So this is the high priest saying this to, to Peter and the rest of the apostles when they when they healed a, per, uh, an, a person who, who could not walk. Then Peter, filled with the Holy Spirit, said unto them, Ye rulers of the people and elders of Israel, if we this day be examined of the good deed done to the impotent man, by what means he is made whole? So now he could he could walk again and run and jump. Be it known unto you and to all the people of Israel that by the name of Yahweh Shai Hamashayak of Nazareth, whom ye crucified, whom the Most High raised from the dead, even by him does this man stand here before you whole. So all glory, glory, and and the credits goes to Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. You know the apostles didn't say no. It's it's because of Peter didn't say no. It's because of the name of of me Simon Peter that he is made whole, or the rest of the apostles. But they gave the credit to one source Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. This is the stone which was set at naught of you builders, which has become the head of the corner. Without Yahweh Shai, there is nothing. You, you have to build on Yahweh Shai. Also, it says in the book of Matthew that anything that you ask of the Father, it has to be asked in prayer through the name of Yahweh Shai. That's why you hear in, in Jeremiah the words Yahweh Ba Hashem Yahweh Shai, which means Yahweh 
Bahasham means in the name of and then Yahweh Shai. And when you pray, you first say Yahweh Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, Bahashim, Chaka, Kadash, Baba Kasha, Baba Kasha, Baba Kasha. And then you start your prayer. So you always ask in the name of Yahweh Shai. So the point is in the in the twelfth verse. Neither is there salvation in any other, for there is none other name under heaven given among men whereby we must be saved. And the names are Yahweh and Yahweh Shai. There is no Allah, there is no Yahweh, Yehovah, Jesus the Christ. Those are not the names that you should lean on. And if you know the real names are Yahweh Bashim, Yahweh Shai, and you still use these other names, for example, as the so called Bishop Nate of IUIC, and he's still using the, the name Jesus the Christ, that's blasphemy. He even knows the right names, but still he's not using them. So next, on the importance of the name, Jeremiah chapter 10, verse 6, For as much as there is none like unto thee, O Lord, Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, thou art great, and thy name is great in might. And there is some people saying that the names of the Heavenly Father and His Son are not important. So how do you break down this scripture saying that thou art great and thy name is great in might? It, it wouldn't add up. Also when you go to Psalm 149 Praise ye the Lord, sing unto the Lord a new song and His praise in the congregation of the saints. The saints are the Israelites. The new song is the gospel of these scriptures. You know, gospel meaning good news. The good news pertaining to the Israelites that we are soon getting the hopeful, the elect of the nation of Israel are getting salvation from this current wicked world and the kingdom of heaven, the kingdom of Israel awaits wherein the other nations will be under us and they will serve us and they will be in captivity and we will be in possession of all the riches and we will be ruling the, the, the world in righteousness under Yahweh Shai, King David and Yahweh of course. Let Israel rejoice in him that made him, let the children of Zion be joyful in their king, let them praise his name in the dance, let them sing praises unto him with the timbrel and harp, again his name let them praise his name. And the names are Yahweh and Yahweh Shai. For the Lord taketh pleasure in his people, he will beautify the meek with salvation. The meek is talking about the elect of the nation of Israel. You know, at this point, it might be that you are in a really low estate. You know, your reputation is low. Because whenever, even amongst your family or your old friends or some former contacts you had, now when you start to preach this truth, your reputation goes down. Normally, financially, your, your situation wouldn't be excellent either. It's a rare thing to, to have brothers in the truth who would have millions of dollars. I don't know if there is any. It's, it's not my business, but the meek also is talking about no need of anything, just the connection with Yahweh Bashim, Yahweh Shai, and this truth is all that the elect of the nation of, of Israel needs. At the moment, it's hopeful elect. And that's part of being being meek, saying, being a hopeful elect, not that, yeah, for sure I'm going to, to be one of the elect. And then you would have a spirit that is proud and you would, you would automatically be lukewarm and take things for granted. But being hopeful elect gives the meekness. And uh, I know also, Apostle Gabar made a video talking about the, the hopeful elect as a walk-and-talk walk and format, format. But going back to the name, verse 3, let them praise his name 
into the dance, let them sing praises unto him with the timbrel and harp. So if you don't know the name of the Most High and his Son, how is that possible? The last scripture that I'm gonna read is in the Proverbs 18 and 10. The name of the Lord is a strong tower, the righteous runneth into it and is safe. Again, talking about the elect of the nation of Israel and highlighting the name of the Lord. What is the name of, of the Lord? Yahweh, his son's name, Yahweh Shai. So if you don't know the name of the Lord and that being a strong tower, how can you run into the strong tower and how can you be safe? So just wanted to make this video highlighting the importance of the names in the, in the ancient Hebrew, Paleo-Hebrew that our forefathers spoke, that Moses spoke, that Abraham, Isaac and Jacob spoke, and that in that Paleo-Hebrew, our ancient, ancient language, which is Lashawan Kadash, the holy tongue, the holy language, the name of the Lord is a strong tower. Shagawam.